mean, this is something which we uh, thought of as as early as uh, November last year. We were planning on the entire thing. And uh, we started building our uh, tracking system as the first thing that we did. So every bit of uh, user interaction which happens on uh, bigger.com is, uh, is locked. It's not tracked in the sense of uh, somebody looking at what's being written over there. But uh, it is logged in the sense that you know, if at some point in time in the future something comes up like this, we can actually go back and identify that this particular user sent this particular message at this time and uh, the sender I, was actually uh, sending it from this particular IP address, which is a very basic requirement for actually taking legal action against that person. So if tomorrow we have a police action coming in requesting some information for a, a crime being committed uh, using our platform, then we will definitely be able to report that. So we are very, very clear about it in our privacy policy, in, about, uh, in, our, in our usage policies to all consumers. So that's already been stated very, very upfront, and we are very, very sure that we'll comply with uh, every single legal requirement to make sure that uh, none of this happens. So keeping a safe and secure environment is our first priority, and I want my eight-year-old daughter to be comfortable on this platform, and she is on video section. So I don't want to have any obscenity on on that platform. So that's that's paramount. It's not just because you know it's it's something which is nice to say, but it's very important because my kids use it. So that's, that's the same sentiment that we uh, believe is, applies to all consumers. So they should all have a safe and secure. So for example, if you were to actually uh, want to register in your 18 years and below on, on the site, uh, there is a mail that is sent out to uh, a parental mail is sent out where we ask uh, the, the teenager to give a uh, parent ID and a mail is sent out to the parents' mailbox as well for their approval or disapproval, whichever they may choose to be. And if there is disapproval, then that person gets deactivated. As a, a responsible company, we're trying to keep checks and balances at whichever places we can and what we require to do to ensure that those checks and balances are then followed. This is that all this is made available uh, uh, up on the site. If there is any kind of copyright infringement and the piece of the owner of that piece of content comes to us and and reports to us and, and proves antecedent of ownership of, of that piece of content, that piece of content through our process is pulled down immediately. So those again, those checks and balances that we've learned from what's happened in the West. We've got partnerships already in place uh, where content is being provided uh, uh, through these uh, these partnerships. For example, uh, Z, Sony, CNN, IVN uh, today provide us uh, uh, content directly through, their, uh, through uh, the direct route. We've got uh, owners of, of Bollywood as well as regional content which provide us content directly because they believe that this is a great medium for them to, to, to share their piece of content and in turn get these uh, consumers to come and, 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 and consume their content in their uh, various subsets. So that's so already happening. The, I think the motivation there is that, you know, for example, CNBC or Sony or Z, uh, today I understand that as part of the digital lifestyle there are consumers uh, who want to watch programming which is on these channels but uh, they probably are not able to catch it at the scheduled time which when it is being broadcast. So it is important to be available also on this as a distribution channel. So the Bigada video platform is a distribution channel for even television uh, studios or for television broadcasters today because they are missing out on this audience which probably is at uh, school or is in college or is at work and they probably will never be able to watch that particular episode or that particular piece of content which was aired or broadcasted on television at a particular time when they were unavailable. So it is important to reach out to them through this distribution channel which is which doesn't have the time constraint or doesn't have that air, airing time constraint or broadcast constraint. Obviously uh, it, this doesn't ever match up in terms of quality to uh, television uh, viewing experience. But at the same time what we've done here in terms of technology is the uh, uh, streaming rates, the, the products that we use are all optimized for our kind of connections. So you, uh, they're encoded at a level where uh, a dial-up consumer can watch a reasonable, get a reasonable user experience on the game. Maybe not the best user experience, but if you have broadband, you'll probably get a better than normal user experience. Uh, what's important, again, localization plays a key part over here since the content is hosted in India, it's available on Indian networks. Uh, the latency is very, very low. So a consumer is likely to get a much better experience of video on Big Adda than on an international site. 
So which is why we have these partners who want to partner with us and provide content directly to us. So if you go on to our site, you will find uh, profile IDs which are uh, CNBC or uh, ZKD and they uh, have started uploading content themselves. So now partners come to us and say we want to create a profile. We want to have uh, you know bulk upload features which are not available for users. So I want to upload uh, 50 videos at a time and I want longer length videos. So we have a limit of what uh, length of video can be put up in terms of minutes as well as file size. So they want relaxation of that because they want more programming to go online. Right? So it is more than you know issues of copyright infringement and uh, all I think is the copyright holders themselves who want to uh, get onto a new distribution channel which has more viewers coming on at a time where they, they cannot serve them on the traditional broadcast mediums. It's a classic That's case of catch videos. Bigata, Bigata today is creating a catch for consumers and uh, there are uh, media entities who want to reach out to that consumer because that consumer is not being able to come to their uh, platforms and consume it. So classic case storyboard for example for CNBC is available on, on Picata as well. So that's being given, uh, being provided to the advertising fraternity which probably will be coming and consuming that piece of content on the, on the site. Uh, similarly in the case of uh, uh, ZZ's, ZZ's used this platform extensively for uh, promoting the Sare uh, 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 promos and, and they provide content uh, over here where they build the next week's uh, consumer subset who will come over there and, and perform. So they, they use the platform as a form of promotion where they are creating intrigue for the for this catchment, this extensive catchment that Bigger does creating for them to then subsequently move on to their channels and consume that piece of content there. We can upload up to 10 minutes of videos as of now. Uh, the upload limit is about 35 megabytes per uh, file also, so it depends on the encoding rate, the format that you've used, we support multiple formats, so if you have quick time video or if you have Windows media video or if you have an AVI file or a, a real video file, you can upload any of these and they get uh, transported into our layout formats and uh, we can increase limits depending on how we see traction happening and capabilities of users to upload more content. As it goes up, we'll start increasing the limits of us. It's but currently it's completely easy. unlimited. So consumers can upload as many number of videos that they want. So we have uh, we have some consumers who have, who have upwards of 100, 150 videos that they upload. So it there is there is traction that that, that, that we are seeing. Yeah. Well, I think going forward in, in a very short time, I I believe that on certain niche segments or certain kind of content, you probably will have more viewership for that content than television does. So that's that's uh, something which is a very, very short term goal for us. And for example, uh, let's take the example of Storyboard uh, on, CNN, uh, on CNBC TV. Uh, I believe that runs once a week on Sundays and is repeated once more during the week. Uh, probably we'll get more views and you can track those views, you know which consumer has seen it and what is the age of the consumer, where did he come from. So this, this uh, element of knowing who your consumer is is far more important to content than it is uh, in terms of saying that I have a distribution reach of uh, 20 million households. Uh, where, but the key point missing there is how many people were actually in that household where there's a fixed connection of the television and obviously they don't carry televisions around, they don't carry Tata Sky Dish antennas around with them in their cars and on their persons. Uh, but they do carry a mobile phone around, and they do carry laptops and they have PCs wherever they go and there are internet connections available and people will watch this content on Vivenda probably more than they will watch in television.